Okay, counting threes. That was basically the idea. Uh, like three, three things happening, and then spreading it out across, you know, four. What the hell am I talking about? Well, there you go. You got three chords here in a row, and you got three other chords, three, three, but spacing it across four sixteenths. So it's kind of like a combination of threes and fours. <clears throat> so hopefully this helps you get more used to, or you can feel out this whole idea a bit more easily. It's polyrhythm territory. Here we go. 60, number one. One, two, three, four. trying that seeing the threes maybe maybe that could help hopefully it doesn't make it worse hundred one two three four two threes <coughs> even when you're not strumming anything so again something to, to try see if it actually helps one two three four one two three one two three one two three one two, three, one, two. gotta keep the pinky down one two three four one two three one two three Triad chord first, 
So the major, minor, or diminished. And then make it the appropriate seventh chord. So major seven, minor seven, dominant seven, or half diminished seven, also known as minor seven flat five. So since we had these two weeks here before we meet again, um, good idea, study up on the different chords we've done so far. The biggest thing to remember are the interval combinations. So major is one, three, five, minor one, flat three, five, diminished one, flat three, flat five, and stuff like that. So any questions come up, let me know, and I will see you again in two weeks.